All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom, I'm taught to Aki. I'm out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So I'm just making this quick video on the update on like, you know, the, some, the new the little situation going on out there in Houston. Uh, it's the major, major floodings. That's basically, it hasn't been like that in a, in a long time. Cause it's been on the news all day and everybody's saying you know people bugging out talking saying pray for houston and whatnot because it's so bad with the flooding and then as well you had the uh today earlier today you had the little the all <clears throat> the the kkk protesting for uh out there at berkeley <clears throat> and people were saying that was a little bit bad as well and i just wanted to speak on those two things real quick real quick and go into the articles a little bit on those two subjects because it's a lot that's been going on. Like this week, you had the flooding and, and to what today, really, you had the flooding and, and the off right movement. And then earlier this week, you had the eclipse. So all these different signs, you know, that the Lord has given, it's like, it's, it's clear to see that we're at the end, man. Because the Lord is making all these different signs come to pass and all these different things going on across the world happening. Among all the other things, like with the North Korea situation that's been, you know, heating up and whatnot. All right, so I'm going to read this just a little bit and then go into the other article. Texans dodge sinkholes and tornadoes, fish and houses flooded by Hurricane Harvey. Videos of people surviving in the Hurricane Harvey ravaged coast of Texas have flooded the Internet as locals share their experience of one of the worst natural disasters to hit the U.S. in over a decade, so it's been that long since the disaster has been that bad, man. A tornado has reportedly damaged a gas station in Houston amid severe storms and flash floods. A local woman posted on Twitter hours before the reported incident. She said she should have listened and evacuated. On a highway in Rosenberg, 25 miles southwest of Houston, a large sinkhole has opened up, leading a road bridge to collapse. Pieces of highway asphalt could be seen hanging from the edge of what used to be a road with a with water filling in the sinkhole. So you see how bad it is, man. Like that's why there's people saying pray for Houston and, and um and whatnot because it's bad out there. You got celebrities trying to raise money and whatnot as well because something like this, a weather event like this, has happened like the article said over a decade. All right, but that's a sign from the Lord, and people don't understand that. They just think it's just, um, just a coincidence or whatever you want to call it. That's how people look at it in the world. But it's not a coincidence. It's something that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ordained to happen. You know, because He controls all things. Due to the hurricane, which is repeat, which is already being compared to the Hurricane Katrina disaster of two thousand and five. 18 counties in Texas have have been declared federal disaster zones. Nearly 7 million people live in the worst affected areas. So that's, that's a lot of people that got got to move, man. And and it's, you got different videos and whatnot showing it. And you could just like Google look it up on Google if you haven't already seen it on the news. But it's pretty bad out there, man. And this is it, like this article said, it hasn't been a, a weather event like this in over a decade, man. All right, and then earlier uh, out here in Berkeley, you had the, the you know, the uh, off-right movement out, protests out here like they had out in Virginia. And it was like, it wasn't as bad as, as it was out there because after the Virginia situation, you know, Esau tried to send out more cops to make sure that that didn't happen again as far as people getting put to death, like, like what happened out there in Virginia, getting hit by cars and whatnot. It was people fighting it and everything, but not to the extent like it was out in Virginia. So this one says, "Believe chief." Well, oh yes, this one. So it's at least 14 arrested as left and right wing protesters face off in Berkeley, California. Police have arrested at least 14 people and reportedly deployed tear gas as demonstrators from the left and right of the political spectrum held rallies in Berkeley, California. Most of the suspected offenders were arrested for bringing banned items into the rally zone. The San Francisco Chronicle reported Berkeley's police spokeswoman Jennifer Coates is saying, according to to the police official, at least one person was injured in a fight. 
white smoke was seen on the scene believed by local media and some eyewitnesses to be tear gas as the two sides clashed in the university city rt Rupley's agency fee from the scene was abruptly cut off after mass protesters purportedly members of antifa which is like some anarchist basically approached the camera and demanded the cam the crew to move that thing a brief tussle is then heard before the live feed w is lost and it abruptly producer who was heard yet telling the protesters to back off reported the camera was damaged and they had to cancel the feed so you know esau always got the anarchists out there to cause mayhem and people to, to other people to just start you know going crazy or whatnot and it, that's why they was fucking with the camera more than likely so that the East, um, that it wouldn't be caught or, or seen what they doing. So they could just cause a big ass ruckus and disappear. And then uh, you go see other people trying to ride the wave and copy them. And then all hell just started breaking loose as far as people fighting each other and whatnot. But out there it wasn't, in the Berkeley situation it wasn't as bad. But it was a lot of people out there. The only reason it wasn't as bad is because what happened in Virginia. They predicted it to go that same way out here. So they already had the pol a lot of police already out there to stop that from happening. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go into this scripture right here in 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then, thou shalt, un then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And what are the signs this, um, that Yah Bashim Yah Shai told us about? It's going um, it's going to go into some of those. All right. It's a lot. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's right, man. And that's what you see going on around the world. On top of earthquakes, you see in different weather events going on. All right, like the um, like what's going on out there in Texas, that that little Hurricane Harvey. It hasn't been that weather like that hasn't been that bad in over a decade, and it's still it's not even over with yet. It's basically they still expect more rain out there, so it's really just getting started. It's not even at its worst part yet. It, it could get possibly worse, you know. And then you got the little protest thing happening out, out, out in Berkeley, all right, showing how divided Babylon is, which we already know is divided, but now it's just being made, it's made more evident, you know, since they allow the, the, the little off-right people and off-left people and all these other people to come protest. You just see all hell break loose whenever, because, like, nothing can be done peaceably. Like the scriptures say, Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together, at least they be agreed. And you see when these people come out here that protest, they're, they're, they have different views and whatnot. What always happens, they end up fighting. Because you can't come together with somebody you don't have, you don't agree with. Y'all both, both have different points of views, different values. And, and Babylon just a mixture of everything. So it's just, it's a kingdom divided amongst itself, man. So it's not going to, it's not going to last. And that's, that's evident to see, all right? You got race wars on the way. All these different things on the way, man. But the uproars of the people, you see that going on clearly, you know. Then, sh then, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning, and once hath a beginning and an end, and an end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. All right. And the end is being made manifest, man. Because we already see everything is clearly being set up strategically by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai to happen. All right. You got World War Three being set up, you know, the stage being set up for that. Different weather events going on, you know, on top of the earth, a lot of earthquakes are supposed to happen, but they haven't happened yet. Even out here in California, we're waiting for the next big one to happen. All right. And so when that happens, it's going to be like, it's going to be bad out here. And then you got the upwards of the people. It's, it's on a low level right now with the upwards of the people that we see now. Yeah, people that protested against Trump when he first got became president. Then you had the, these protests going on now. 
all these different little protests or whatever, those are just minor uproars of the people. When people are actually starving out here from the famine, when the economic collapse come, that's when people are really going to have an uproars and you're going to see riots of the people, all right? The, the Yahweh Bashim Shai is just showing us that he's setting up the stage, man, for this place to go down, all right? And every, every year and every day that goes by in this truth, all right? You've been seeing it getting closer and closer to, to that day of Yahweh Bashim Shai coming back, all right? Because all these different things go on every week. Like, throughout the week, you see a whole bunch of things going on in the news, you know, internationally, out there in China, Russia, uh, North Korea, all these different things going on, man. We, it's clear to see that we're at the end, man. It's being And it's made manifest, all right? And we're the only ones that know because we're out there watching, all right? We're on our watch, like it says in Habakkuk 2 and 1, in the second chapter, man. Because these people, they're not watching, but we are. So we see and we we know because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai revealed that to us, man. So I just wanted to do that quick video on the um, on the update on the what's going on because this is you know just today. So I just wanted to make a quick video on that and the situation out there in in Texas, man. We still gotta it still may get worse because that's just as of right now what they're saying. Can they expect it to see more rain? That's what the news. That's what Esau been stating on the news, at least, you know. So we gotta just keep watching that, and you know, Lord willing, brothers out there is safe and all. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching His word in truth and sincerity. You know, death to America, and we almost out of here, man. Shalom.